Celebrating 30 years of phenomenal trend forecasting, five times a week, Monday through Friday. Here's Gerald Salenti with today's trends in the news. Hi, this is Gerald Salenti. It's Tuesday, February 28th, 2017. And here are some of today's trends in the news. On the market front over there in Asia. Oop, EK's up. Shanghai up. Hang Sang down. Over in Europe, everything's up, but just a little bit. In here in the States, everything's down, but just a little bit, except gold. Gold took a bit of a hit. Why the market's down? Well, first of all, Dow snaps 12-day winning streak, the longest since 1987. That's right. 1987, hmm. Ah, 87 stock market crash, yeah. And I call that one, and I'll show you why a little later. Anyway, quote, it's just a wait and see approach at this point because tonight, President Trump is going to address Congress. And what will he say? Will he say what's needed to keep the markets going up? Because as Tom Cassidy from... Uh, Univest Wealth Management said, it's just a wait and see approach at this point. It's going to be tough for the market to keep going higher because we want detail. And it's tough to give detail in this kind of speech. And you know what the speech will mostly be about. It'll be clear. Uh, that was bullshit. Yeah, probably, but we'll see. Quote. Investors are setting up to potentially sell the news, said Adam Sirhan, CEO of 50 Park Investments. Investors, gamblers, have been buying the rumor, in this case Trump's speech, and now there's a lot of pent-up selling. That's right. And this is no surprise, because today, today, you know what you got? Your Trends Journal. It's no surprise at all. Our forecast is in this Trends Journal. You'll see it when you look at it and open it up to economic disorder. Read all about it. And quote, although global stocks have displayed phenomenal gains this month, the growing skepticism over the sustainability of the bull rally may encourage participants to heavily scrutinize Trump's first speech to a joint session of Congress. Lukman Otunuga, research analyst at FXTM, said in a note. Again, read your Trends Journal. I believe we have a forecast that most people aren't talking about or forecasting. And in economic news, Huh. Consumer spending was revised sharply higher in the last quarter to 3% from 2.5%. And you know why? On other data released today, consumer confidence for February hit its highest level since July 2001. So the confidence level is there despite all of the talk about the anti-Trump people. And by this way, this thing about fake news, people have been complaining about the news for a long time. You look at the data, only 11% of the people trusted the media and had no faith in it, basically. So what's the big deal about fake news? The news about fake news is that it's been fake a long time, well, and you know the details. Oil prices dipped on Tuesday. You ready for this? I know it's going to come as a shock. On concerns about rising U.S. crude inventories. How many times do they have to play this game? But they keep it up a little bit by saying that they're doing a great job over there. 94% of those OPEC countries are committed to keeping production low. Uh, U.S. 
Crude stockpiles have been rising for seven consecutive weeks and forecasts for an eight an eighth build of 2.9 billion barrels last week fueled worries that demand growth may not be sufficient to soak up the global crude oil glut. Listen carefully. While the November 30th agreement to reduce production prompted oil prices to rise $10 a barrel, they've been trading in a $3 range the last few weeks. So again, the only thing that's moving these oil prices is talk and not action. And talk is cheap. And that's why it's only moving three bucks. Gold soars as traders view Fed as dovish. Oh, that was yesterday. And now today it's down over nine bucks. Because they're waiting for that Trump speech. And they're saying, if Trump juices the market and brings a big deficit, then gold prices will go up. But if he doesn't, and they raise interest rates, gold prices will go down. We stick to our gold forecast. It's in the Trends Journal. And we're staying with it. And that is basically $150 downside. God has to go over $1,400 for strength. Important. A warning sign in bank lending. Total loans and leases by U.S. commercial banks are currently rising at an annual pace of about 5%. That is down from a 6.4% pace for all of last year and the peak rates of about 8% in 2016. The deceleration has been broad-based across business, real estate, and consumer lending, and at odds with the idea of a stronger economy and rising sentiment. The slowdown has partic been particularly stark in commercial and industrial lending. The commercial sector to us is topped out. The luxury sector is topped out look for more and more for rent signs. And then if they raise interest rates, things will get a lot worse. Again, we see the markets going down and we see where it's going in the Trends Journal. Read all about it. It's there for you in detail. So then you keep putting the pieces together. And this one, of course, that I just read was a warning sign in bank lending. Then let's go somewhere else and read Markets Flash Warning Sign. Stocks and bonds are again moving in tandem after diverging in recent months, a sign some investors may be losing faith in so-called reflation trade. Some money managers and traders believe that a rising treasury bond market, often seen as a haven for investors, is a warning that valuations of riskier assets such as stocks, corporate bonds, and emerging markets assets may be stretched. The Dow closed. This is, of course, two days ago at a record for 11th consecutive session on Friday. Well, it's the last closing day when this came out on Monday. Others disagree, pointing to factors that remain supportive of riskier assets, improving economic outlooks in the U.S., Europe, and China. U.S. corporate earnings rebounded from a recent slump, a gradual approach by the Federal Reserve in raising short-term interest rates, and continued bond buying by central banks in the Eurozone and Japan. So you can see it's mixed signals out there. Everything depends basically on whether or not Trump comes clean and does what he says he's going to do, like it or not, on the tax issue, deregulation, infrastructure spending. End of story. Because, again, lending declines since Trump election. 
It's getting more and more questions from clients about this rally. People are beginning to pay attention. If everything is so great, why is credit slowing? Someone at Deutsche Bank writes. Why is credit slowing if everything is so great? Again, we believe the real estate market, particularly in the commercial sector, has peaked. Hey, what's one of your top trends for 2017? Buy and sell China. Buy and sell China. That's right. Chinese property buyers expand horizon. Moving away from Australia, things are getting a little tougher over there. Same thing in Vancouver. And they're going wider. This trend is not going to stop regardless of China trying to stop the capital outflows. Interesting story. Hasbro, a uh, toy maker there, rolls out new home for Play-Doh. Toy maker is set to make notable moldable clay in America again for the first time since 2004. When I was a kid, they invented this stuff. But now they're going to make it in America. This is very important. Watch the trend. The trend is your friend. Hey, what happened today? Amazon went down for a while, and with it, thousands, I should say hundreds of thousands of websites across the United States went down with it. Go back to our Back Trends journals. Cyber war is your war. It's one of the elements of the new world wars. They take down these companies, bam, your economy goes zip, zap, boom. And they could do it. So you take the reverse of it, where's there going to be opportunity? Hey, take a look at those cyber companies out there that are gearing up so this doesn't happen and putting more and more money, talent, inventiveness, and creativity in cybersecurity. What are the firms? Which ones to look at? Hey, we look at the trend. Agora Financial looks at the profit opportunities. They're there for you because this is not going to go away. Yeah, what if the Russians did it? Why not blame them? Because, hey, all those Democrats that love peace so much, let's give hate a chance. Yeah, make America hate again. Don't you love it? Let's hate because all you little Democrats and you liberals, you're so against peace with Putin. Man, so let's blame it on the Russians and then we could use this as an excuse to impeach Trump. Big story. Marijuana industry projected to create, you ready for this? More than a quarter million jobs by 2020. That's more jobs from manufacturing marijuana, growing it, selling it, the new equipment for it, then jobs expected from manufacturing, utilities, and government jobs, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The legal cannabis market, last year, over $7 billion. The trend is your friend. Read your trends journal. Lots and lots of stories of marijuana. There's one in there that you won't find anywhere else. And again, look at all of the trends in your Trends Journal. Crusades 2000, Crusader Trump. Economic disorder, I talked about that earlier. Playing the Trump card, love him, hate him, want him there or not. There's a Trump card to play, and if you're smart and looking for profit opportunities and want to be an entrepreneur or succeed more in the business that you're in, we suggest you read this article and learn how to play that trump card. And again, reef for money madness. It's there in front of us. Will it go on? Will it stop? Will Sessions, the new attorney general, slow it down? It's all there. And mom and pop comeback. 
That's right, we're writing what no one else is talking about. You are going to read a story about malls and history before it happens that you'll only find in the Trends Journal. And there's much, much more. New energy source for a fraction of the cost. And again, tie it all together, look at energy, where it's going. Oil prices, as I said, they're stagnant in the range. Wait till these breakthroughs come and they are going to go lower. Unsafe water, a global crisis. And on and on and on. One story after another that gives you history before it happens. Profit opportunities to seize and dangers to avoid. It's all here in the Trends Journal, and it's all there for you. This is Gerald Salenti, and that's some of today's Trends in the News.